To me, communication underpins the quality of our lives. It um, conveys who we are, what, what we stand for. If I can't communicate effectively, I cannot be in the world in the way other people are. I'm Louise Brown. I'm the course coordinator for speech pathology. I cannot be grateful enough for my choice of profession. It's about working with people who have challenges to their communication or their capacity to swallow. Uh, and to me it means that people's quality of life is com compromised. We work to understand what's going on for those people. Some of the examples would be little children, babies, when they can't feed early. We will often help with the muscles and the, the patterns for feeding. As children grow up, they sometimes don't develop their sound patterns. People have voice problems. We work with people who stutter. One of the areas that I have enjoyed working in is the area of swallowing disorders. There's a challenge for us because we often want to make sure the person is safe so that when they swallow the food doesn't go into their airway, but we also want them to live a good quality of life. So one example of what we do for that is we run a, a contest for the students called Dysphagia Masterchef where they have to produce really nice food but that's easy and safe for people to swallow if they've got swallowing problems. One of the exciting things that I've been able to be involved in here is developing the clinical education program and we've now got to the stage where a large number of our students will do placements in rural and remote communities. So places like Cooktown, Mount Magnet in Western Australia. A group went to Timor this year. Um, I've taken students to Vietnam. One of the big things about speech pathology currently is the huge growth in employment. The private practice sector has actually been a huge growth area for speech pathology. We actually are still are seeing increasing numbers of jobs and their employers are actually saying that they choose our graduates because of their flexibility and the range of experiences they've had clinically. They're working in Aboriginal community health settings, they're at working out in places like Catherine, and they're making a difference to the lives of people in those settings. People often think of speech pathology or speech therapy as you know, teaching people to talk quite nicely, and well, we don't. We try and help them communicate and if that's a passion that kids at school would have, it's the right career.